Is there a ball on her? There is. Look at that. Special holiday bundle packs assembled for you guys. Available on the website for the Working Man Combo Kit. Simple hat, t-shirt, classic combo. Hat, t-shirt, throw in a sweatshirt. Next is the Bad Cherry Deluxe Combo Kit for the high rollers. Personal favorite will be the Double Trouble Combo Kit. Also have for you uh, NASCAR lovers, we have a Let's Go Brandon Combo Kit available on the website. Let's go get another truck. Welcome back everybody. We are going after another truck. My weakness, good old 12 out, but this one it's got some cool stuff underneath the hood and it is a factory five speed. Those are those are actually kind of hard to find. A factory 97, so it's got the 215 horsepower rating. I mean we can always change that, but it's always neat to just find those out in the field and this one I've been working on this deal for quite a few months and this truck's been sitting for years I would just go ahead and fire it up and drive it home but I think this one might be a little bit too far gone to be truly road worthy without spending a bunch of time on it and it does have an unfortunate salvage title and it, it's got a couple issues but like I said it's been sitting for quite a few years so we're gonna give it the honor going out on a good way because it's probably going to be a donor truck so we're going to use grandma's truck fellow 12 valve to give it one last ride on the road let's go see if we can at least go get this girl started because we didn't even bring a winch to put it on the trailer so we are pretty much relying on it to drive itself onto the trailer one final run oh yeah for some reason i remembered it having a lot more pine needles over it it's not a dramatic as i was thinking Oh. Essentially the same exact truck as grandma, except for just with a man's mission in it. Classic mirrors. Got the classic 12 valve banger mirrors. Leather interior with mold. Oh, it's got a real nice back seat. What is this? Brake brake line. Whew. That must be for that back one. Cause they said the they just kinked off one of the one of the back brakes. <laughs> and why I didn't really want to drive it because What's it got? 233,000 miles on this old girl. Apparently a fresh head gasket and a clutch. This is a rare option. It has a factory fogs. Ooh. Just to verify, there is no battery power at all. One of those PTO deluxe models for the four wheel drive. It does have batteries. Drummond said he did a head gasket in this thing. Should have put head studs in it while he was there. Oh, it's got uh, pillar gauges. Good batteries. Well, they were. What's this thing here? Is that a midline temperature sensor or something? Yeah, looks like it. Custom. Super custom. Let's see if she's got oil. Can't check the transmission. I am not about to pull a vice grip garage and lick that. There's no way. <laughs> you can test that. Filling it so it's good to start. Looks like rats kind of stuck to it a little bit here. I mean, they've been. Oh, the owner's pet squirrels? Yeah. <laughs> you think uh, aftermarket anything else? It's got a vacuum leak. You can see the line's not even hooked up. Got the same air box on the red truck. I'd say we just crank it and drive it on. Little oh. remnants of a fire. Oh yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. The salvage title issue that this thing carries. 
Um, the way I'm figuring it is, I haven't talked to the owner direct, just uh, everybody else telling me the stories on it, but something with the turbo ended up fire started. They salvaged the truck, he bought it back, fixed it. It's got a, look at that intercooler right there though. That's a Haas. I bet you this little engine's a ripper. With that turbo on there, what is it? Advanced flow engineering. You know that means power right there. Looks like one of those Super B turbos. Well, we got the old handy jump pack. Bumper's convenient for putting this on here. People ask me for a link on this thing. Just type up jump pack. It's, on, it's right there. Hook them up backwards. Is that a... There's a nail right there. That's for... Custom. Custom. <laughs> Clip it to the nail. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the nail just melt. Keep going. Sure. Okay, well, this is the cool part about this jump pack. We could hook it up to 24. I've accidentally done that. Power will come on on the dash with the key off when you do that stuff, so best be careful. Dirty running boards. Oh man, they're glow shift gauges. Damn, I thought we were onto something. Gotta wiggle those things. Oh, what the hell is this? A bunch of tinfoil on there? Get on there. Go to your home. Charge that jump pack. You better start this truck. It almost has a uh, hub that you can stand on. It's still got the factory lift pump on it. Put my gloves on in case that rat comes out. Yeah. What is this? Custom. Is that phone wire? What? Gotta use what you got. Squealing, so it's going through an injection pump. We might have to crack some lines. Look at this here. What did he have here? What did he have? Water meth on it or something? Nitrous. Nitrous port he clogged it off with a, a bolt. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can pick that up, that little humming, but the check valve for the return from the injection pump, because you don't use all your fuel, goes back to the tank, and that check ball is a pressure regulator of sorts. That's when, what I had an issue with the motor that's in grandma's truck. Yeah, if you can hear that thing squealing, you got fuel going through the injection pump, but the injection lines might be, um, might have air in them. Not like a common rail, those things are, essentially they're completely self-priming. You do not crack a line on a common rail. But on a 12 valve, or early 24 valve, you can crack them. You have to. Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna have to crack them. Well, we had Decided we would elaborate on how much of a work truck it was. I mean, it's still full of chips. I guess this is a part dump ride. Got tools. Oh, look at that. He left me in a shovel. You know, it's a, a mobile toilet. Mobile restroom. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that... Oh, it's just a... 
for that. I was, gonna, I was gonna laugh if you found a three quarter inch in there. <laughs> that would be good. We had to go borrow a snap on one because my toolbox I didn't have three quarter. There's a spare key. What size socket did you need for working on Monica's rig? That's too small. That's too small. I didn't know she was driving a semi. Maybe. Oh, it's one of those early flip sideways ones. That's gonna be a problem to get out of there. It's like when they're all nice and clean, you just pull that thing, the ball pops up. Okay. That ain't the case today. <laughs> a little dirt and sawdust in there, I'm sure. Oh man. A little. What's that? That's definitely gonna catch on fire. Let's try it one at a time. Don't break. Oh man, maybe. And that big old air box is just in the way. Well, I don't want to break an injector off because then it ain't moving. Where's one I can get to? We need to bleed something. Slam a knuckle. Dude, they are tight, tight. Maybe I can get to number six without slipping and breaking off something. Oh, thank you. Number six. The most difficult one, normally. Open up, no problem. All right, I'll crank it. Let me know if you see any fuel. I'm gonna prime the injection pump a little bit more. Tap the starter and it opens up the solenoid it's supposed to. Oh, maybe that's our problem right there, Oz. Is it stuck down? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was... <laughs> Dude, watch. It's going to fire right up now. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't check that first. Honestly, it was part... What was the green truck was the one we were having that problem on? No, it was the... This is... Is that thing not plugged in? It's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem right there. Where the hell? Oh, no. He's got a, another one on it. He's got butt. Oh, it's okay. upside down, though. So the problem with one of these relays... Obviously, they have to be goes, mounted in the upright position. Yeah, or, I mean, it can work, but if it's upside down, you get water in there, corrodes it, and you got one that holds juice so that the solenoid stays on, and then you have one that charges it so it pulls it up. So, um, honestly, there's probably no reason to not crank it other than to see fuel, but it'll start now, I'll guarantee it. Now that it's actually got fuel going for one. Hey, fuel spitting. You getting fuel? Yep. Okay. You just gotta do a little investigation. Gotta go Sherlock Holmes on it. Ain't plugged in, Haas. Huh? Got more of this phone line in the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you guys had the smell of vision at home to smell this. Brand new diesel, cold morning, not burning, you'd enjoy it. All right, Tom, back up, she's about to let her rip. Back up, I turn the key all the way off. Nope. I'll just crack him right here at the injection pump. 
doesn't sound like it's ripping on all all eight no maybe four let's see throw some sarcasm in the videos and then you hear about it in the comment section you're stupid well acknowledge sarcasm dumb you know what Smoking like it hasn't been fired up in a year or four. Let's just see if I can keep her lit. I'm having to feather it, so I don't know what the deal is there. Eight tank fuel, all perfectly fine diesel. Listen to a purr. Funny people will undoubtedly get mad that you fired up a truck without messing with the fuel. It's a plastic tank is diesel and it's a 12 valve. Damn thing's gonna run on used motor oil. Wait to start light gets flashing. That would be a problem if this was a common rail. Sounds. Did he do injectors on this? I think so. Oh. Got a little bark to it. I'll be honest, it, it popped me a little bit more than I was expecting. <laughs> that uh, that purple truck that here. Yeah. That purple truck sat for, it was definitely five years, maybe seven years, judging by how much the registration was backed up. And that thing fired up easier than this. You know I mean, it fired up right now. This thing filming? She's got some leaks, but... She's getting full of oil right now. She's no oil bike. The plastic thing's still good in there. That's nice. How hard of a work truck was it, though? Religious. smoke rings in the day. Yeah, I was hoping you got that on there. That uh, truck we got that engine from. Uh, for Tyler's truck? Big old smoke rings when we fired that thing back in the day. And it ran into a pole before we took it all the parts out of it. And it was a big old choocher. That's how long it's been sitting here facing the sun. That side's faded, the other side's still gold horn. Okay, okay. Hey. 
trucks that I have ever bought, second gen trucks, this is the first one that's factory leather. It's got great oil pressure. There's even coming up. The brakes definitely do feel kind of funny and there's a clink back there. Quicker than a four wheel load. There's up on the trailer here. That truck we just started hook it up to the trailer, not put it on the trailer, and then tow grandma's truck home with it. <laughs> that would be kind of cool, except for, obviously the back seat's got brake lines laying in it. So we're gonna tow this old girl home. We got the technology. Tyler's girlfriend is staying on that. You got a couple feet. That PTO thing for four wheel drive doesn't really want to work. If that's not close enough, you're pushing it. trucks or even just drive that one I'll get to the house and show you it's missing brake lines crucial components plus I don't get to tow with grandma's truck ever I don't really get to drive this truck ever because I just don't have time other than just to work and work got to test out the exhaust brake every once in a while with a decent little load that's maybe 10,000 pounds back there truck and trailer so just listen to her gotta film that person successful 12 valve rescue back there This is something I've never seen in California. Yep, now we know the fate of this truck. Block right there? Yeah. I've never seen a California truck rot out right there. 
heard it. She is weak. Never seen that before in California. Never. That's weird. So the cab is fixable, but. <laughs> All right, guys. Like I said, another successful 12 valve rescue. Don't really know what would happen to this truck had we not stepped in. It's been sitting for years. I might have fixed it up, sold it for slightly more than I gave him for it. But then at the same time, it might have just sat there for years and years, and eventually it just became trash. But looking it over as we were putting the tie downs on it, it's got. I mean, there's parts that are broken right here and stuff. It just. I mean, if I had all kinds of time during the day, I wouldn't mind, you know, flipping this thing back to the house. But like I was telling you on the drive over, it's just a lot easier just to tow it back. And it's safe, controlled, easy going. We know all the brakes are working on this. For the amount of money I spent on grandma's truck, which would have been probably in better condition than this truck was, or is, it's hard saying if I want to spend that much time and money restoring this one. But I'll let you guys comment below. Should I fix this truck or should this just be a donor truck? Because Lord knows, trying to find 12 valve engines right now, along with a five speed swap, that whole kit right there, that's worth everything of the purchase. Uh, but I'll let you guys comment below what your thoughts are on it. The next video, I'll do a price breakdown on grandma's truck on how much it costs to restore to that level. And this truck will probably be at least that, maybe more. It's got a couple other go fast parts on it that I wouldn't have to acquire, but for the most part, 1997 12 valve Cummins with a chipping crate brought back to the house. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button, it's free, no big deal. We're almost at 100,000. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. See you guys on the next one. Later.